Welcome back, everyone. It's Halloween, and besides the little trick-or-treaters being out and about, there are other creatures lurking in the night that may just give you a chill and a fright. Daytime's queen of the jungle, Kelly Deidring Harris, is here with some kooky and creepy crawlers. You, you guys are so good. These are creepy animals, but you're both holding one. Cindy, you've got a rose-haired tarantula, and Lindsay, you just grabbed one of the largest scorpions in the world. That's called an emperor scorpion. And if we can dim the lights in the studio, I want to show you something really cool we've got a black light here and this black light is actually going to make the scorpions glow can you Look see now that. the scorpion is bright blue and they're pretty amazing animals now the reason for that is there's actually a phosphorescence in that cuticle in their exoskeleton that makes them glow scientists aren't positive why they glow some scientists believe that they glow because that attracts insects and then the insects come over to them and they grab them and eat them so that would be kind of cool if that was true but we're really not 100 percent sure why they do that but they are it is oh, kind of creepy wow. dang it and, <laughs> and my spider wrangler here you've there. got a stay. rose <laughs> we haven't we don't have him trained to stay quite yet stay. this is a rose hair tarantula and it's so many people are afraid of spiders are either of you do either of you have a phobia no, no obviously not but no. i do not like when i find one in my room when oh. i'm not expecting it i'll give you that one too okay. i don't like to have them in my home either but so many people are afraid of uh, animals like this these are both arachnids they've been on the earth for hundreds of millions of years they're fascinating animals they're dinosaurs yeah they're amazing and i think people's fear comes from what they don't understand. If we didn't have arachnids eating insects, we would be up to our ears in mosquitoes. That's Crickets. I always say that to my mother. My mom, or my mom always used to say it to me, too. We say it back and forth. Is whenever we see spiders, we say, don't kill them. They're good. They eat the bad bugs. They're great, <laughs> actually. Except if you see this in your yard, you might want to call someone. Well, if you see this in your yard, you're probably not living in the United States. That's this right. one actually is from South America. Now, out west, there are really cool tarantulas. And I always tell people, you know, just learn about the animal. Don't kill anything because it plays an integral role in our ecosystem. They all have a role. So if you do have a phobia, learn about it because they're kind of creepy to look at but they're really neat animals and these here both of these arachnids come to us from a sanctuary called the primate sanctuary that's right here in our backyard yes. mm. so if you're looking for something to do with your time like a volunteer position there's always some a wildlife haven or sanctuary that needs your help you you're loving the scorpion aren't you Lindsay? i wow. really am because <laughs> You know, you always hear, oh, scorpions, you know, be afraid of scorpions. You don't want to find one in your bed. Right. Sort of pick one up. It's, you know, it's fascinating. You You're know, and the, and the interesting thing about scorpions that I love is that the larger ah, ones. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> and that just scared me a little bit. The larger, the larger, down. <laughs> the larger, okay, okay. the scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that gave everybody a fright. I did. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have reacted. That's so okay. That's okay. Now the larger the scorpion, the less harmful the sting. So if that scorpion actually stung you, it wouldn't feel good, but it would be just like getting stung by a bee. Oh, so it's not. It, it's, it's not, not going not to inject. That bad. Remember last month you got bit by the snake. Right. That probably hurt more than what that would have. I know they I can look, handle that. Yeah. So they they actually don't want to bite you or sting you. The reason is they don't want to waste their energy doing that. Sure. Because they know they can't eat you. You're way too big. Why are they blue? Why are they glowing blue? Well, they're glowing from that black light, and scientists believe it's just something in their cuticle. Look behind you. That might actually I don't, I'm not going to look behind me. Nope. Not even looking. I think that, that he might be oh, afraid of the spider. Yes. As long as he doesn't make this tarantula upset, I'm happy. Oh, gosh. Oh, that scared me, because I just felt something on my head, and I thought it was possibly one of his brothers. Nice head massage, actually. Yeah, thanks. Anyways, yeah. these are neat little Halloween critters. So if you are hosting a Halloween party, you might want to throw a critter or two in the mix and talk to children about them, educate them about them. That's a good idea. And one really cool thing that the Primate Sanctuary is hosting for a fundraising event is called the Banana Ball, and that's happening on November 18th. And that actually helps to raise money for these animals that are homeless and that need the proper care and attention. Because as you can imagine, this tarantula and these bright blue scorpions, they cost a lot of money to keep and keep healthy. Okay, so if you're going wow. to take one of these on as a pet, be ready for Do it. Do your homework. And we've got our um, our zombie over Zombie's there is going to steal don't, our... Do not eat, don't it. eat it. I don't know how good that would taste, although I know people in other countries do eat them. They do. I've heard of that, too. Yeah. That zombie might be able to tell us how that tastes. Okay. Kelly <laughs> Deidring Harris, Queen of the Jungle, thank you so much for bringing along these lovely creatures. Thank you for having me. Don't go anywhere. Daytime will be right back. <laughs> you just sleep, little one. Just sleep. You're so such a good
Morgan and Morgan for the people.